Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Experience Arts and Sciences program. First of all, I would like to congratulate all our admitted students on your admission to The Ohio State University and welcome you to our great institution and our great college of the arts and sciences. Our great team of faculty, staff, and students also join me in welcome you, welcoming you to today's program. First of all, we're going to hear from our dean who's going to welcome you to the college and to the university. And it, you, it'll be followed by a presentation by the Arts and Sciences Center for Career and Professional Success. You will also sit in in a demo class by one of our world-class faculty members and you'll end your day in an open house of your choice. You have a full list of all the Zoom links for your events today in the agenda that was emailed to you. Please use the Q&A section of the Zoom meeting if you have any questions, and we have staff behind the scenes who will be answering those questions. And now I invite Dean Reader to the platform to welcome you. Thank you, Chinue. And hello, everyone. I'm Gretchen Ritter, Executive Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences at The Ohio State University. I'm so pleased to welcome so many of our future Buckeyes and Buckeye families from all around the country here with us today. And let me begin by saying how much I wish we were together today. The pandemic has brought challenges to all of us. Just as you've been doing in high school for the past year at OSU, we've been navigating a mix of distance, hybrid, and in-person learning. And while we've become adept at a variety of learning approaches, we miss having the close human interactions that come from being together. The good news is that there is so much optimism for your future not just in terms of getting beyond the pandemic, but in terms of what lies ahead for you here in the fall. Our college is a special place populated by an incredible range of talented students and professors from around the world. Regardless of where you're from, what your experiences have been or what your interests are, there is a place for you here in the College of Arts and Sciences. I can tell you firsthand how exciting it is to explore our campus and our many buildings, labs, studios, and classrooms. You'll spend much of your time here traversing the Oval, that beautiful open space at the heart of the campus, which is surrounded almost entirely by arts and sciences buildings. The Oval dates back to 1893 when the master plan of our new university called for a central open space. Over time, as buildings rose around the Oval, students began creating their own walking paths, trekking across the grass to their destinations. These informal walking paths are what inform the design of the paved walkways in the early 1900s. Now, more than 150 years after Ohio State's founding, as you take these paths, you will be amazed by the unexpected places they lead and the connections they create across campus. For example, a visit to our Orton Geological Museum will bring you face to face with a fossil cast of Cryolophosaurus elioti named for one of our very own earth sciences professors. Nearby Haggerty Hall is home to many of our language and culture departments. We offer more than 30 languages for you to choose from with programs that will increase your intercultural competence and grow your ability to thrive in our increasingly global economy. The Chemistry and Biomolecular Engineering and Chemistry Building or CBEC, brings together our Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry with engineering, optimizing leading edge work in energy, technology, and medicine. 
for our aspiring journalists, the journalism building is home to The Lantern, our award-winning student newspaper that is housed in our top-ranked School of Communication. Our planetarium and Smith Laboratory, operated by the Department of Astronomy, will take you on journeys to other planets, stars, and distant galaxies. Finally, our arts district is an emerging ecosystem that will bring all of our visual and performing arts together at the entryway to campus. It will include new buildings for our School of Music and our Department of Theater, Film, and Media Arts. The Timoshev Family Music Building will open next year, and the Theater, Film, and Media Arts Building will open the year after that. So you will be among the very first to take advantage of them. This is just a sample of what you'll be able to pursue here at OSU. We offer more than 80 majors, but the best thing about being an arts and sciences student is that regardless of the one you choose, you'll have the opportunity to crisscross the oval, studying across disciplines and discovering artistic, scientific, human and social ways of understanding the world. We will prepare you to be engaged citizens and flexible thinkers who can create, communicate and innovate. And we will prepare you for successful careers and meaningful lives. As you prepare to embark on this adventure that lies ahead here in the College of Arts and Sciences, I will promise you three things. First, you will be challenged. We have world-class faculty and you will have an opportunity to meet some of them today. They're leading experts in their field and they will push you outside of your comfort zone to think critically about problems that affect all of us, including faculty in bio microbiology and the life sciences who specialize in infectious disease and have helped us to understand COVID-19 and how it spreads, as well as geographers, sociologists, and data scientists who have helped to model how the disease progresses through communities and advise policymakers and public health officials on the best responses. Or those in statistics, political science, and physics who will prepare you to contribute to our innovation economy and help us address the cybersecurity threats that affect so much of the world. Or our faculty in history, philosophy, languages, and literature who will help you to put current events in a broader historical, cultural, and ethical context, preparing you to become the writers and political leaders who can help us to navigate the social challenges that we face. And finally, from all corners of the college, we have faculty who will enable you to understand and address issues of racial inequity so we can more fully be the country that provides liberty and justice to all. Second, we will support you. Being an arts and sciences student at Ohio State means you will have access to faculty, staff, programs, and services that will help you every step throughout your journey here. We have advisors to provide comprehensive academic support as you explore new programs, plan your majors and minors, and schedule courses. We have a center for career and professional success, you're gonna hear from them shortly, that will connect you with career coaches, communities, and alumni mentors as you discover your career path and pursue internship and employment opportunities. We have undergraduate research opportunities that enable you to pursue your passions under the mentorship of our faculty. Across campus, there are so many resources to support your mental health, your fitness, and your overall well being. We are all here to support you on our journey. Finally, third, I promise you'll have fun. After all, Ohio State will be your new home, 
and we want you to enjoy every moment of your time here with us. We have faculty who study virtual reality technologies, video games, comic books, dinosaurs, far off planets, and more. And you'll have every opportunity to learn from them. There are opportunities to sing, act, paint, and sculpt, and play an instrument through our arts program, regardless of what major you choose. Our backyard is also our state's capital, a fast growing city bustling with cultural and entrepreneurial vitality with plenty for you to do and explore. The energy of our campus and city will inspire you and you'll make lifelong friends along the way. The College of Arts and Sciences is the heart of Ohio State. And I know you'll see why today. I am so thrilled to have you in our Ohio State family. And I can't wait to see you crossing the oval this fall. Thank you, Dean Rader. And now we're going to hear from the Center for Career and Professional Success uh, from Brian Gororo and Bruce House. Thank you, Chin Wei. Let me be one of the first to also congratulate you on your admission to the Arts and Sciences College and welcome you to Ohio State University. As Chin Wei mentioned, my name is Brian Guerrero. I serve as Assistant Dean for our Center for Career and Professional Success. And I'm grateful to be joined here with our marketing manager, Bruce Houts, who you'll hear from in just a moment. To build on what Gretchen was just mentioning, our executive dean and vice provost, every day, right, extraordinary artists, scholars, and research scientists engage with our students who often might kind of think to themselves, what type of impact will they want to have in their communities while they're on campus and even beyond their time here at Ohio State? We know that these questions might lead to even more promising potential. And our college, in addition to thinking about your bright future, really does invest in your career and professional success. As the hub of professional connections, the center provides students with a competitive edge, preparing you, our next generation leaders, for the rapidly changing professional world, a world where our arts and sciences education is needed more now than ever. So in all that we do, we empower you to think very deeply and understand the relationships among your education, purpose, and what our vice dean just mentioned earlier, a meaningful life. So this next slide is really about how we think you might engage with us, which is through our career communities. Because arts and sciences graduates pursue a diverse array of opportunities after graduation, and even while they're here at Ohio State, our model is really centered around 10 career communities, as you can see in front of you. Students can explore one or even multiple of these communities. So for example, if you are an artist, but are thinking about your own venture. Why not join our visual written and performing arts career community in addition to our entrepreneurship community? It's also really important to acknowledge because we know that this happens often that you may not necessarily know what you might wanna be doing at this time and perhaps may not see yourself within these career communities and that's okay. Our career coaches, which Bruce will talk about momentarily will be able to help you with that. Hello and welcome. Brian just mentioned our career coaching team and on screen you see our panel of talented coaches who serve students in the College of Arts and Sciences. As early as your first year, career coaching can bridge the gap between where you are and where you want to be. In career success, our career coaches work with students on how to position themselves for their lifetime of opportunity. They can help students identify search strategies and tactics for internships and post-graduation careers, but also for your summer jobs or your volunteer experience that can be so crucial to rounding out your resume. We embrace diversity, equity, and inclusion and find significant value in asking students identity-based questions that help them recognize the strengths of their identity and how they can leverage it for the world of work. One of the ways we do this is with our signature programs. 
And on this next slide, you'll see some iconography that helps you start to familiarize yourself with some of those programs. So in addition to the coaching, uh, students can develop and articulate their professional competencies and prepare for their lifetime of opportunity by participating in these and other events. Uh, these include our signature programs, which are focused on discovery and connection and opportunity. We work to meet the needs of students where they are in their career development uh, through things such as our coffee chats. Our coffee chats provide opportunities for intimate and casual conversations with alumni or other professionals, while Life Beyond Degree and Career Connections help students uh, connect with panels of professionals to really start to hone in on and define their career aspirations and journey. Things such as our Development Academy, our multi-week series that helps students really focus on a topic or, or develop a skill that we know industry is looking for, while Launch Your Career are typically one or two, two series events that help students really uh, dive in on a focus area or topic and develop skills that we know employers seek. Speaking of skills that employers seek, this next slide is really gonna talk about something that I would encourage you to be thinking about early and often during your time here at Ohio State. We tend to call it readiness competencies. I know we heard a little bit about intercultural competencies uh, earlier, but when we look at this list in front of you, you'll start to see that as we engage with industry and when we engage with employers who often come to us to want to hire arts and, and sciences talent, they'll start to kind of tell us that while it's clear that they are ready, you all will be ready to be um, thinking about innovation and how to problem solve within the professional context, that there are sometimes perhaps challenges about being able to clearly articulate your skill sets, right? And so when you look at these 10, approximately 10 in front of you, you'll start to see that throughout your journey, even in first year survey or even through career coaching or the programs that Bruce had just mentioned, we will start to really think through and actually encourage you to stop and reflect about how your range of experiences have helped bolster or given you um, more, a more competitive edge to be able to demonstrate and articulate what types of competencies you have in the future conversations that you'll have with organizations. This next slide talking about preparation, I know that as you think about this, there's two different ways to think about this. Um, clearly we've heard a lot about engaged citizenry earlier. So part of our job is to think, of course, yes, we have to think about part-time jobs, on-campus positions, internships. We have plenty of them and we'll talk more about how you'll be able to find them in a moment. But we also want to make sure that you know that throughout your experiences in the classroom or through internships or through experiential learning, like study abroad, et cetera, that you will be able to apply a lot of what you have learned through those competencies in a way that is meaningful and will have impact, right? So thinking creatively, being innovative that we said earlier, but also know that one of the skills that you will get in the arts and sciences is just the, the love for learning and knowledge and lifelong learning itself. So we see that over time, right? Major may equal career, but it doesn't always equal career. And one of the things that I'm really proud of with our talent is we know that over time that they are high earners, but more importantly, that they're very satisfied with the education that they received. So this next slide, uh, you're going to see a list of jobs that did not exist 10 years ago. So parents and family that have tuned in uh, with us today, uh, you can affirm that a lot has changed in the last 10 years. So what you see on screen is a list of jobs that either did not exist or were in their very early stages of development only 10 years ago, only a decade ago. So learning from the past and understanding that the world of work is exponentially evolving is so, so important. With approximately 23% of current work hours likely to be automated by 2030, the knowledge and skills students are learning through the study of the arts and sciences will position them to be engaged in nimble assets in the future world of work that we don't even know what it looks like yet. So on this next slide, let's talk a little bit about the graduating class from 2020. Uh, as we're all aware, things changed 
very quickly uh, about this time last year. And despite the onset of COVID-19, which caused about 85% of our students to experience a change in their job situation, we saw that 63% of the 2020 graduating class reported a post-graduation destination at the time of graduation, with 48.3% of job seekers reporting job offers. And we followed up with the entire graduating class of 2020 in uh, May and June, uh, and they had indicated no, uh, excuse me, we followed up with any of the graduating class in May and June of 2020, uh, who had indicated they had no firm plans to see how we could support them through the pandemic. And we found that many of the individuals that hadn't found a job at the time of graduation had something lined up within that first month or two. As we think about the importance of internships, we also want to call out that 46.9% of graduates who accepted a job offer also had previously interned at the same employer who they were planning to work with. And 39.8% of graduates who planned to attend graduate school reported that they had been accepted to a graduate program to which they'd applied. Uh, and again, this is in uh, in the midst of a pandemic. So we're very proud of these numbers. Um, and even though we face some challenges, we've found that our graduating students are always well positioned to support the changing world of work and the evolving needs of employers. So speaking of employers, um, let's just, before we do the reveal here, uh, one of the things that we that I mentioned a little bit earlier is a major doesn't always equal career, but it can. And so I first wanted to just show kind of the array, right, of diversity of the types of career opportunities within these organizations. Certainly, we work with over uh, hundreds of organizations within a year. But as you look here, we'll do a real quick reveal about the types of majors that these organizations had hired. So as an example, you'll see here a criminology major who was hired by the U.S. Bank and an English major who was hired uh, is now working at the FBI. So just to really underscore that the opportunities are really endless for you in the arts and sciences. But let's move forward. Um, we, like I said, we work with over 600 organizations within an annual year in terms of recruiting who come to Ohio State and we encourage them to come frequently to hire our students. Um, and what I love about this is it again shows that you know, just as much as we say to all of you, our family members and students that it's important to think about your career early and often, we often give that same advice to organizations who hire. That means come to Ohio State early and often and create meaningful relationships with our students. Um, and then some of you might be thinking, well, you know what, maybe post-graduation, even though I just got admitted to Ohio State, uh, that I might be thinking about graduate programs and that's okay. So I thought I would also just read off a sampling, of course, just a sampling of, of the types of uh, pro professional schools or graduate schools our students were admitted to. That included the, you know, those that go to the University of Toledo, Johns Hopkins University, Columbia University, the University of Cincinnati, Capital University, the University of Pittsburgh, as well as Wright State University. Again, just to name a few. So you may be wondering how students are able to connect with not only our programming, uh, but some of these employers that Brian has been talking about. So on this next slide, you're gonna see uh, Handshake. We like to say that Handshake feels a little bit like LinkedIn met, meets Facebook. Um, so what you'll see is the profile of one of our students. Uh, Eric was actually one of my interns in a previous year and we're very proud of him. He's moved to Atlanta and is doing great. Uh, but Handshake is, a robust and powerful career management tool utilized by career services departments at The Ohio State University. It's used across all colleges and it helps students connect with not only programs and events, but also internships and jobs that align with their professional goals. Uh, one of the great things is that it's free and it's convenient. Uh, it's a campus-based resource that really makes it easy to start the job or internship search, again, as early as your first year. In addition, our career success staff, such as our career coaches, can assist students with questions and inquiries related to job postings or related to making sure their profile really shines so employers are drawn to it. Students can stop by our office in a typical year, and currently we have virtual options for them to connect with our coaches and uh, with our peer career coaches. Uh, students can also discover events. So uh, what just came on screen, you can see highlighted the events tab. 
Um, and the example that we're showing is our spring career fair. So each year we do host our spring career fair. It's typically right at the end of January. Uh, and we have hundreds of employers that are seeking students from our college uh, to hire for, again, full-time jobs, but also internships and, and other opportunities. Uh, the custom, excuse me, the content on the Handshake profile that students see is customized for them. So as they build out their profile, uh, Handshake will highlight academic, they can highlight their academic, academic accomplishments and skills, their extracurricular activities, and Handshake will display jobs, internships, and upcoming events uh, and other opportunities on their profile that would really appeal to them. Um, and as we've already kind of alluded to, it is designed for college students and recent grads. So the opportunities the students will find through their Handshake account will really appeal to them and be specific to their needs and wants. So uh, let's take a moment and think about some of our, our students that we've served. So we do a video series called My Career Success Story, where we highlight students that have gone on to do really great internships or have learned a lot through some of our programming or have graduated and done great things. And we've cut together two of those videos for Noah Haynes and Rhea Pai to uh, highlight some of their successes. Um, you'll see that they're very different from each other, but their success really exemplifies that of a fantastic arts and sciences student. So let's go ahead and play that video. Originally, I was going to the internship fair to secure hopefully a summer internship with like a tech giant. I found a woman who represented Nationwide Insurance. She actually told me she was really impressed with my uh, leadership abilities, being a resident advisor, and my interest in diversity. But turns out they have a huge interest in developing new IT and new programming um, experience and people. A few days later, I got a call from someone who received my resume from her and really, really was interested in me particularly because of, um, because of my soft skills and my leadership and my diversity um, experience with being a resident advisor and being at a campus like OSU. My name is Rhea Pai. I'm currently a bilingual quality coordinator at Abbott Nutrition. I am also a junior here at Ohio State on track to double major in political science and international relations and double minor in Spanish and business. Julie is my mentor that I was matched with. Um, she has a background that's quite different than mine. She, she comes from a business background. Um, so we kind of met at the beginning and discussed what both of her goals were. She um, connected me with her friend Michelle who was able to review my um, resume and she saw that I spoke Spanish and so we started to talk about that and she brought up Abbott and then we just went on from there. Ria's resume is pretty well-rounded. She is bilingual which was a huge plus for me but she's pretty involved in the mentorship program and a lot of programs within the College of Arts and Sciences that was impressive and showed me that she has a lot of initiative and that's what we look for. They didn't want just a robot that could spit out information. They wanted a human being that was able to completely connect with others, completely connect to the job. And it was a really, I think my education here in arts and sciences was able to give me that kind of more well-rounded education that companies are looking for nowadays. And so I had my internship there and I really enjoyed it. I got the opportunity to kind of take a lead on a pretty big project that should be rolling out to the entire company within the next few years. And they really seem to enjoy my enthusiasm and my uh, kind of like passion for the work. And they've offered me a full-time job to come back on graduation. When I was op offered a position at Abbott, um, it was incredible because this was my first job in such an important field. And um, Abbott is a global company. So to be able to work with people who have such broad implications on the world at whole is incredible. Wow, and these stories are just a few of many, many stories of our students that are clearly being successful. Um, what we'll do is, I know we're getting close to time, but there's just a couple things I would love our students um, and our family members to jot down. So we'll go ahead and show all five things here as they show up on the screen. Um, first steps in career success uh, is simply just remembering go.osu.edu forward slash career success. Uh, that will get you to all of the information that we were talking about. 
I really do encourage everybody to explore career communities, or if you're not sure which one you might join, even if you want to join multiple, to engage us on your exploration broadly. Um, Bruce already talked about how to look for events within Handshake, and I believe Handshake is actually the next piece, which is we want everybody to activate their Handshake uh, accounts. Part of the reason why is, as he was mentioning, it does have machine learning that pushes out opportunities based on your own interests. So the more you fill it out, the more great information and opportunities you'll get connected to. And then on this last slide, you will see all of the social media channels uh, that we are um, engaged with. Um, again, one more, there's one more slide. If we could just move it to the, the last slide here, is uh, all of our social media channels. So we're on Insta, Facebook, Twitter, as well as YouTube. So please uh, get connected with our channels. And when we do see you on the Oval, as uh, our executive dean and vice provost just mentioned, please know that we're very close to the Oval. We're actually located in Denny Hall with all the rest of student services on the first floor. You can't miss us. Please come often. Please get in touch with a career coach. We definitely want to get to know you uh, and all of your interests, values, and skills. So thank you so much for your time and enjoy the rest of ASC Experience Day. Bye now. Thank you, Brian and Bruce. And this concludes this portion of today's event. Next, I will direct you to the email agenda that you received a couple of days ago. And there you will find the demo class and the open house that you selected. Um, and enjoy the rest of the day. Bye.